Hey what is up guys this is Norman3000. So I said I will do another review in two months but I think one week is a good point to review it as well. A couple of disclaimers here. I am one of those guys that tend to double wrist. So typically a smart watch on the left and the regular watch on the right. I have an Amazfit GTS4 Mini here that has served me well over the past two years. So the Amazfit GTS4 Mini has always been enough for me and the sole reason that I got the T-Rex 3 is due to its looks and nothing else. The last disclaimer would be that this review is from the perspective of a borderline sedentary person. During the one week of testing, I did not really do any exercise. So with that out of the way, let's jump right into it. So the first up would be the notifications. And the T-Rex has a good vibration and the reply capabilities are still very impressive to me. Keyboard, the smileys, the canned response, and the voice replies. So notifications is a very good thing for me. So let's move on to the apps. For the apps that I use, it is mainly the barometer which is working fine. So as you can see here, there doesn't seem to be a storm coming. And another one would be the world clock. So the world clock is a little annoying. So as you can see, if I go to the shortcuts, the cards do not update unless I click on it. This is kind of frustrating. So yes, I can just go to the apps and click on the word clock there, and this one is always correct. But if I had to press twice, why not just use my Casio Royale here? So when I press this one, so it's already in NYC, and another click would give me Mexico. Yeah, this is really frustrating on my part. I have already reported this to Amazfit and I don't think there's going to be any fix for that anytime soon. So the MP3 player is also a favorite of mine for the T-Rex 3 because if I do want to walk our dogs, I don't have to bring my phone. The T-Rex 3 and the Bluetooth device are enough to listen to music as I walk our dogs. Controls on your Bluetooth device will work on the watch and music playback is generally seamless and I really enjoyed it. I haven't uploaded my whole library yet as the T-Rex 3 only works with MP3s. Nonetheless, this is very impressive. So now we get into the health tracking. For the step count, it seems very consistent. My day typically consists of an early morning walk with the dogs, work, lunch, a quick lunch walk with the dogs, work, and an afternoon walk with the dogs. The step count for the past few days has been consistent at about 3,000 steps. Yes, I know this is extremely low. For the stress levels and sleep tracking, I would consider my life as relatively stress-free. But for the sake of testing, I decided to enable the stress monitoring on. So as of November 26, I received some stressful news but Amazfit has never alerted me on the high stress levels. It is important to note that I do not have any other device to compare this with. So I'm not sure if I'm just being overdramatic or the stress feature is not working at all. So take this with a cup of salt. Ditto with the sleep tracking. I tend to lay in bed by about 8.30 p.m. Usually I'm asleep at about 9. I typically wake up twice, once to pee and the other one to open our balcony for our dog to go number 1 and 2. My quote-unquote stress extended to my sleep for the past two days. For yesterday's sleep, from about 8.30 p.m. to 11 p.m., I was flip-flopping between falling asleep and waking up for a while. And 15 minutes later, I'm still not asleep again. For some reason, T-Rex only counted my woke up when I opened our balcony door for our dog at about 12 midnight. Again, take these observations with a cup full of salt. Not only is this sample size extremely small, but these are also subjective and non-scientific. Finally, we get into the battery life. Since last week, I got to a mass fit with some juice left at about 65-70%. to 70%. And as of now, with sleep tracking and stress monitoring on at 24 hours a day, we are at about 22%. I tried leaving always on display for a day or two but I turned it off. Nonetheless, the battery seems to be very good. If the Amazfit GTS4 Mini is any indication, the TRX3 is bound to have a great battery life. And I guess that's it for the week. Depending on my mood, I might take another one next week or next month. Either way, I have some upcoming videos then, so subscribe if you don't want to miss out on those videos. Again, I apologize for the structure of this review. This is a quick one week review and observation of the Amazfit T-Rex 3. Thank you so much for watching guys. Consider like, sharing, and subscribing if you found this useful. This has been Norman3000. See you soon. 
and wear your watches.